All right, guys, I'm uh, gonna do a review here on a new toy I got. Uh, this, I mean, this is the coolest thing I think I've ever purchased in my life. It's called the Rad Rover by Rad Power Bikes. Uh, this video is gonna be basically a first impressions of everything. Um, I have, I believe, 29 miles on it right now. Set it up a couple days ago. Um, been raining here a lot, but as you can see, today is a uh, today's a beautiful day. Uh, very nice. So, the only things I've done to this bike um, are the mirror there. Uh, got that on Amazon for like 20 bucks, I think. And I had a cramp buster thing on here, but took it off. It was just getting uh, annoying to me. Anyways, the most important mod I think uh, I've done, I've done it before and after, are the seat here and the seat post. Now, you see this seat and you would think that uh, it's hard leather. You're like, that. how's that comfortable? It just is, I don't know. These are supposed to break in. It's uh, called a, a Brooks saddle. I did some research, uh, kind of a love or hate, I think, but you know, honestly, it's a, it's a love for me so far. It's actually pretty comfortable right out the box. But the, uh, the Thud Buster by King Creek here, um, let's see if I can, it just, it just, it's like having a full suspension bike almost. Um, not quite, but it really helps out. I'm 205 pounds, six foot one, um, obviously male. And uh, that that's probably, the best thing I think I could could have got so but you know two minutes in here I want to just kind of talk about so I I found this bike through uh, doing obviously some research I was actually getting ready to buy a Trek Roscoe 8 mountain bike it was $1,250 at bicycle garage uh, Indy BGI here is like a uh, you know where you get all the professional high-end bike stuff so and then I got home and I was like you know I'm gonna drop that much coin uh, let me see what kind of electric bikes they have. They had some there that were like $4,500. They were like road bikes. They had one fat tire bike that was five grand. It was electric, but uh, obviously, you know, I have a, uh, obviously I have a car. I have a long commute to work. There's no way I don't have the option to ride my bike to work. So I was like, you know, 1500, I could swing. Actually, I wish I would have got this before I got my boosted board. I got the new boosted board plus. That thing is really fun and fast, but uh, that's some good lighting there. Really kind of shows off that uh, paint. This is a 2018 model. In order to get this bike though, you know, they sell out like really fast. So right at 12 p.m. my time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'm here in the Midwest in Indiana. Uh, you know, you have to like basically wait for the clock to hit 12 and order it and buy it. If you're serious about getting one of these, it's the only thing I can advise you to do. Uh, other than that, you know, I checked five minutes after I placed my order and it was, uh, they were gone. And I think they have another shipment coming in tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to look into that if you want to get one, $1,500 and that was shipped. Um, I think it's a great buy. A few little things that I, uh, didn't care for, but, uh, you know what? The customer service at this company, the customer service is amazing. Um, Wow, I mean, uh, I just, I, I can't say that enough, really, the, <laughs> the customer service. I mean, I've had a couple issues, one being the front disc brake, and I think that's from uh, good old UPS not caring. I mean, they dropped the box up vertically, and obviously it says this side up, it should have been horizontal. Um, they obviously had no regard of uh, what was in the contents of the box, and the direct result of that, the rotor was bent. It bent to hell. And uh, I was able to bend it out pretty well. It still has a slight rub, but when I, I'm saying this because the customer service there is so great, they, they just said, send a picture. I sent a video because you're really sending a picture. I mean, obviously it looks straight and you can definitely hear it rub. Um, I have an iPhone X in my hand, so I can't really uh, lift this bike up. It's about 60 pounds or 60 plus pounds, right? And my arms hurt from uh, wrecking my boosted board, as you can kind of flew off that going like 15 miles an hour. And uh, 
Anyways, digress. Um, they are sending me a brand new rotor. Uh, it's like a $15 part. It's not a huge deal, but you know, it's the, it's the point. They, no fuss, no hassle. They just, they just did it, you know, and, uh, they've answered two of my questions within an hour of sending them an email, which is really unheard of. Uh, their customer service alone, I would recommend this product. Now the bike, the build, uh, if I had to give a, you know, arbitrary number of a scale of one to 10, 10 being like a, uh, you know, a tank, just super reliable, the best, zero just being a piece of crap, uh, I would give this bike about an eight. I think it deserves an eight. I mean, the welds on it, it's just so well built. Uh, the components, the reason why I give it an eight, because the components are, um, I'm a, and I'm not a bike connoisseur or professional by any means. This is actually the first bike I've uh, purchased since, you know, I was probably in high school and I'm 32 years old now, so. Uh, but from what I've heard and the bike connoisseur professionals that I do know, these are just uh, entry level components. And it did take, uh, it did take me one adjustment, uh, one of these, one of these bolts because uh, it was clicking every time I was pedaling and it, it was real easy. It uh, went right away after I did a slight adjustment. I do like how it has a double-sided chain guard so it didn't fall off. That's great. And a, and a chain guard for bouncing because that chain will bounce. Um, I think what I'm going to do, guys, I think I'm going to... Uh, this headlight leaves more, uh, leaves much to be desired there. So I think it, it's bright and it does appear to be a newer style it, it is actually pretty bright guys uh it does the job right but uh you know i'm an american so uh bigger better faster you know i think you get the point there um i gotta put the tail light back on it's not wireless that headlight is actually built into the battery which is which is pretty nice these grips though they are so ergonomic um you can kind of see there is a a slight like contour here, it kind of wings out and flat, and uh, it just feels amazing. The stitching, the leather, I mean, that that's just, that's great. Um, the display, you can, you can change the miles per hour and the tire size and stuff. I'm sure you've seen some videos. If you're watching this one, you're obviously interested in, in purchasing one of these, but the uh, 2018 model, they've done some, I think, upgrades. Uh, the battery, um, they don't have a handle there no more. I kind of wish they had that, but oh well. I just use uh, leverage back here and kind of push up and it comes right off. Um, but I guess the battery's updated to Samsung 35E cells, uh, 14 amp hour, 48 volt. That's, you know, it, it, you hear those numbers and until you actually know about lithium ion batteries, that is very, very powerful. Um, that, I mean, that's basically like a bomb, essentially. If that if those were to all blow up, it would be uh, <laughs> be crazy. Um, you've heard of stories like those little vaporizers. Uh, the, you know, I actually I vape, and I have uh, two eighteen six fifty batteries here, um, and I'll show you real quick. These are LG cells. Um, that is exactly, oops, pardon my hand there, that's uh, a, a result of that boosted board crash. Those batteries are, are what's inside here, okay? Those are the same type of batteries. Uh, I was actually thinking about making one. Uh, you, can make a, you can make an electric bike uh, probably for about $2,000 to $2,500. Uh, that will go up to like 70 miles an hour, 10,000 watts. I mean, there are, <laughs> Sky's the limit here, but you know, obviously just buying it like this is great too. You know, not everybody's able to uh, understand Ohm's law and all that crazy stuff. You really gotta know what you're doing when it comes to these batteries, guys. They are very powerful. Um, we're just living a great time right now. This is awesome. The seat, the post uh, are great. The uh, the paint on this thing, um, it, it's, it's just very, like someone waxed it basically. I mean, this is like car paint, like a brand new car. Um, and uh, almost like a, that might be a skin. Yeah, I think that's actually a skin. Either way, it's very, very, very nice, guys. Um, I kind of wish these uh, letters, you know, weren't, weren't painted on there, but oh well, you know. I was thinking about maybe doing like a custom, custom thing here, putting like a, because uh, obviously everything is so oversized down here. The, um, 
the, the front headlight. I'm thinking about putting a vintage style, big round, like motorcycle light on there. There's a guy on Instagram that has a black one and he's dropped his handlebars down all the way and he has flat ones. And uh, he has a, the this seat, but the spring version of it and it's all the way down and he like flat blacked everything. And it looks like a, like, like a little chopper, like it's so cool looking. So I mean, the sky's the limit here. Um, the tires are great, they ride smooth, they ride soft. And you know, this thing just pushes through grass. Um, and Ryan, that, that's a, uh, that, that house next door is a um, REO. Uh, they were foreclosed on, unfortunately. And I've uh, been riding through their yard. Bank owns it, so well. Um, it just it just goes it just moves it's quick the one thing i do uh have a little concern right now i don't know i don't want to mess with spokes because of the if you mess with one it can untrue the wheel and but i feel like a couple might be loose i don't know I, honestly i'm thinking about just taking it up to a bike shop and paying them to uh just fine tune everything because i notice in power assist five uh, i'm hearing a slight vibration um a slight vibration I don't think it's coming I don't know if it's coming from the motor I don't know what's going on I'm not really too worried about it because if I drop it in power assist 4 um, and you know put it in like any gear and take off normal and stuff it doesn't do it but in power assist 5 uh, it, it, it like, vibrates a little bit I don't know I'm not gonna worry about it too much um, overall my you know I if I had to recommend anything to this company that they would do differently is uh Put a little more money invested into logistics okay put uh put a, put a better box you know wood maybe even like a wood crate just build a wood crate crate around it you know uh wood is not that expensive and um you know it's that it's gonna cost you guys more money it's gonna cost a little more money but you know raise the price up fifty dollars and do that and you will be uh actually save money probably in the long run rad power bikes because uh you know every video i've seen not every but a lot of videos i've seen shipping their you know things are getting damaged um and you know people are real excited to get these bikes and you wait a week and then you know your front rotor is bent to hell and luckily i was able to bend it out and it's rideable but it's squeaking it's rubbing slightly now and uh again they're sending me a new one they're sending me a new one uh those bolts that hold that disc brake on are on there so tight though, and I'm just, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Not worry, not uh, gonna worry now. But uh, guys, the bike is amazing. It just makes everybody smile. I share it with people, I let them ride it. My brother, uh, my mom, uh, everyone that, you know, comes over, they, first, my uncle, and the first thing they, uh, anyone looks at are the tires. They love the tires. Uh, I have a, I have like an 80 year old uh, neighbor here, and. Uh, What's that? And I, you know, I pull up to her and that's the first thing she said. Those tires are huge. Um, they do uh, make like a off-road truck sound when you're coming down the road. You will hear it, especially on like blacktop or something smooth. It's like a whoa sound. So uh, coming up here on 15 minutes, I think I'm going to wrap it up. Um, if you want to, I know a lot of people are doing this now. I'm going to, I'm ordering... I think I'm gonna order a bike, uh, uh, iPhone X mount for for my phone, so you know I could put the phone right there and and uh, record. I'm gonna get a water bottle mount. Uh, I'm not gonna get a bike lock because the bike goes here in the garage and um, have, I'm heavily armed. Um, I wake up easy, so you know if someone were to try to steal this, that wouldn't be a good move for them. I might you know potentially be their last so uh, I don't I don't play that game I, I'm definitely a big believer in the second amendment so but uh nevertheless guys this is a great bike my experience with everything so far uh has been great because the customer service in this company is so great you know um that really helped out like that uh, I'm recommending a couple people are actually going to buy this bike uh or the rad mini because of because of my experience. So, Rad, uh, Rad Power Bikes, keep doing what you are doing. Um, price point's great, guys. You know, if you're thinking about getting a fat bike, I think 
I don't think it's wise to go out and spend five, six, seven thousand on something that you don't know about yet. I would say this is probably the best bang for the buck and um, you can't go wrong. I mean, unless you're a multimillionaire, then you know, who cares? But um, you know, for the average guy such as I, uh, I, think, um, I think I think this is a real winner. Comes in all black, flat black too as well. And uh, where the orange is, I think it's like a different color gray or something, but it's on their website, check it out. All right guys, signing out. I think I might make, start making some videos. Stay tuned for those. God bless you in America and uh, take care.